Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you. Today I got an Audi A4 with a deployed airbag. This is from 2015. Yeah, I'm going to be taking off this airbag and I'll be taking off the steering wheel. I'm also going to be taking off this indicator stalk, wiper motor stalk, this cruise control stalk. I'll show you guys any sick health which is in there that I'm going to be taking off as well. So please stay tuned. This Audi steering wheel is similar to the ones you're going to find in the Audi A4, A5s, A6s, A7s, similar styles but maybe odd little difference here and there. To start off by taking off this airbag, what you need to do is firstly uh, disconnect the battery. Once you've disconnected the battery, just need to put the, the, steer, the key in so the steering lock is off and you need to tilt it one side first. Once you've tilted the steering on the back side, if you can see there's a metal tab just down there, you need to flick that downwards. Once you uh, flick that switch in, if I push the steering in from this side, do you see how that metal's coming forward? So what you need to do, pry that in there and jam that down. Push as hard as you can. If it struggles, pull it from this side here and then it should come off because if it's deployed sometimes a bit harder. All you need to do is just get it underneath there and pull. Once that steering's out of the way, what you want to do is go for this tab. Our pick is ideal here. Crawl this forward, this yellow one, this green thing. Once it comes down, push it down and wiggle it out. Just be careful here because you don't want to break that slip ring. So just wiggle it. Put your hand underneath as much access as you can and it should slip out. And then you got one more here, one more here. It's just, just pull out like that. Now that's your airbag away. And now inside here, you're gonna need a triple square 12 or a M12. You could take out the key if you've not got a, a power tool or something, but I've got a power tool, just gonna take it out. If you've not got a power tool, you could just take out the key and the steering will lock again. Once that off, you could just shake off the steering. It'll come off like that. Once the steering wheel's away, you're gonna need to remove this trim here. So what you got over there. So T20, just there. And then this trim should come, come loose where you could access the slip ring and all these indicator wiper stalks. Now we've got two more two T20s here. We've got one there, one there and one on this side. So once that cover's gone, what you want to do is first, this tab, pull it back, this red one, push down till it comes away. You've got one more here, you need to press in here, pull that away. And now, the easiest way to take it all away is up here, this hex 5, just take that off, leave it a bit on, just loosen that and the whole thing will come, up, come loose. The whole thing will come away like that. I've got this indicator stalk. Now, the indicator stalk, the clocks with everything on the bench, I find it easier to work on this way. So now if I was going to split the clock spring, this thing here, many reasons why you'd need to swap this. If your steering angle sensor's gone, or sometimes the airbag deploys so bad, this pops out. Well, in this case, it's not too bad. So what I'm gonna do to remove this, it's a T8, so you just unscrew these. One there and one over here. Once you take these away, you've got two tubs at the back here. So you want to push that down and that down. At the same time, you just want to pull away. And that will come 
loose like that. Well, that's your clock spring. And that's another module on it. It's all joint as one. So this is for Audi Q5 as well. I could tell because it's got a part number HRO. And here's your indicator stalks. And your steering stalks. So if that was to be gone, what you need to do is take away them four bolts. And that will come loose away from this bracket here. Thanks guys for watching me take away the steering wheel, this airbag, the indicator store, the clock spring. If you have any questions, please leave the comment below and I'm sure to answer. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.